why am I looking for an agent? Um, because of the access that I can get into a casting room and I just, I really want someone beside me to carry me along and, you know, guide me through this process. I don't know, it just sounds so glamorous. You know, like you move to LA and you get an agent. Sorry, I'm so sorry about this. I just came from um, getting a skin cancer spot removed. So um, yeah, I'm sorry. Cancer free though, I'm so... <laughs> You know, I think at this point in my career, I'm just ready. I'm ready to just ride the bull by the horns. You know, I'm ready to just grab the bull and then just ride it into submission. That's where I'm at right now. I'm totally ready for this. The only thing that I have to do is just go back and check for another tumor. But if, if you want me to not check it, I don't have to. I mean, I can just let it go till it has to, you know, finally be removed. Like I am so dedicated to this. Service was beautiful. I just put that away. They were handing them out at the door. This party is awesome. I think I saw Matt Damon. Okay, one, this is not a party. This is a funeral. Show some respect and be totally not Matt Damon. Matt Damon is Rebecca? Last week. Holly? Oh, oh, last Saturday, right? Yeah. You wanted Kevin to choke you when we did the whole menage a trois. No, mm, no, we met about re representation. Polly White. Oh, oh, Polly, you killed Jordan. You did? I didn't. She did. Uh-huh. Failed actress driven mad. This is bad. Her hair. I know. So are you signed with anyone? I said. Wait, what? Go back. Grizzly Hollywood murder. I think I can get a reality show on deck in time for your trial. I'm not going to have a trial because I didn't kill Jordan. Well, you're good. She's good. She went to Juilliard. Can you get her in something with Matt Damon? She's not that good. I'm thinking more like a Lifetime movie. We can call it Fallen Star. Too subtle. I'm thinking my idol, my nemesis. She was neither of those things. Thank you for attending today's service for Jordan Johansson. Brought to you by CelebProbe.com and Drainix. Hey guys, I'm Bradford Morgan, founder of CelebProbe.com. If you guys are Instagramming today's reception, please, please use the hashtag Jordan Swallows. Oh. And now a few words from Jordan's mother, Donna. I'm devastated that Jordan won't be here for any more birthdays or holidays or when my single mama's got a brand new Merkin drops May 18th. May 18th. <laughs> Would anyone else like to say anything? Ah, yes, Jordan's boyfriend, Demarcus Hicks. I am crushed by the loss of Jordan, but I am pleased to be able to begin my life authentically and forever grateful for Jordan for introducing me to my new partner, Kevin. Oh, that's me. <laughs> Thank you, Demarcus. That was very brave of you. Uh, anyone else? <sighs> yes, miss, uh, please come forward. Oh, no. Hello. 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 Uh, hello. I'm Polly. I did not know Jordan very well, but I was with her in her final moments. Uh, she said lovely, lovely things about her black gay boyfriend, Demarcus. Not that there's anything wrong with being gay. Or black. Black is also acceptable. Um, she was talking about your penis, and she was very excited to date a black person. A black person. Blacks are people. Um, <clears throat> to be clear, Jordan brought all of this up. I am just the vessel. I would never say a negative thing about a black, black African 
African American people. My best friend is African American. What's up, Taya? And I've never even said, <sighs> never said it ever. Like, if I am shopping for chips, I am shopping for sea salt and Vin N word. So. Case closed. Uh, there will be punch after this. Two million views in eight days. Not viral yet. I'd put you around, you know, bacterial. Still, solid enough to get you a meeting with Jamie Mitchum. What? Jamie Mitchum, the actor, he wants to discuss a feature. His project is cross-promoting the Jurassic diet. So, you know, drop a few and we can get you an endorsement deal. I don't know, Rebecca. I'm actually pretty okay with my body. <laughs> don't be. You're famous now. And your job is to peddle solutions to problems consumers didn't know they had until we told them. I thought my job was to be a good actor. And that's adorable. But self-loathing is the engine of the Hollywood economy. And if you don't hate yourself, you're not doing your part. I'm really not comfortable with this. You're wasting my time. Talk to her. You're famous and you didn't have to do any work. That's the American dream. It'd be wrong not to take advantage. I'm not gonna take morality lessons from you. Excuse me, I have a deep sense of morality. You remember my protests? I do, and you still don't get the irony of throwing eggs at Planned Parenthood. That's not what I was talking about. You know I'm pro-choice now. Spring break. Nice. We should keep Britney as part of your brand. This works. Like Paris and Nicole? It's sort of. Yeah, but more like, uh, like Charlie Brown and a hot chick. I don't want to be famous for this. I'm a legitimate actress. I want a Tony Award. A what? I know, that's what I said. Okay, fine then. I've done Shakespeare. I did a one-woman oh, yeah, show. Oh, yeah, yeah, I read something about that. What? Miss White starred off-Broadway in the one-woman show Hide and Seek, a musical diary of Anne Frank. I was trying to be poignant. It did not work. I thought the tap number worked. You want to act? Act like the media sensation you are, because you've got a very short window here. Pay your dues now, and then transition into legitimate work. Sorry. Hello? Hi. Mom? I just, it's so awful. Who is this? This is Sharon from United Collection Services. Damn it, Sharon! So you're confirming that this is your cell number. Jamie needs an answer today. So what's the plan, White? Are you an actor or a waiter? I'll have the tomato bacon grilled cheese. Hold the bread. Hold the bacon. Hold the cheese. Got it. Hold the bread. Hold the bacon. Hold the cheese. I'm allergic to all of those things, so it needs to be done right. I'll have the same. She's allergic to. Oh, God. You have to say you're allergic or they won't do it right. Apparently looking really hot isn't a valid reason for special requests. I hate this place. So, what do you think of the script? Yeah, I'd love to be considered. Oh, look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. I can get a meeting with any actress within 50 miles of here, but I chose you. I want to know what you think. Um, it's a piece of shit. Yeah. The paranormal thing is kind of played out. And I mean, vampires and zombies and robots. And the dialogue is just like, whoa, whatever. Holly, as you know, I've starred the Confessions of a Chopaholic Horror Franchise. Yeah, I saw three. Five. Five terrible films. They all open number one. Since then, I've done nine brilliant indies. They all flopped. I'm sorry. Ah. That's nice. Space. No one cares about anything but the lowest common denominator. You say my script is shitty? It is indeed shitty, yes. What if we make it even shitty? I don't follow. Investors love train wrecks. I 
saw your eulogy for Jordan. God, you are a great train wreck. Thank you. We get investors, we set up a back end deal, and we're rolling in it. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I could, uh, what if I like got little vampire teeth for the uh, producer Yes, bid? yes, you know? th th those are the kinds of ideas we need. Oh, can my friend Brittany be in it? Maybe. What's she look like? She's hot. She's totally hot. She's got short hair. She's black. Whoa, she's got... whoa, whoa, whoa. D don't, don't start that again. God, I'm not racist. People act like I painted my face and did a minstrel show. Ooh. Who would want to do a show about that? I said minstrel. Thank you all for coming. I am Jamie Mitchum. And you know the lovely Polly White. Polly tests very well with the target demographics emo kids, divorcees over 50, and the incapacitated. What about under 50? Seven out of 10. Polly? Hi, nice to meet you. We're pleased to share with you a brief scene from O Positive 3D. <laughs> Polly will be playing the vampire Edna, and I will be playing high schooler Victor Goose. What are you doing? It's the teeth. I didn't know. I'll take them off. No, I can't. Just get go with it. You can climb trees. You have inhuman speed. You saved me from that zombie. I know what you are. Can you know a hurricane? Can you know a tiger waiting in the night? Can you know? Know what? A vampire. Uh. 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 Scene. Fantastic. How about a picture? I'm a man, a vampire. 